Hello everyone, nice to have you again. I'm very sure you enjoy yourself while learning at home. Nice to have you on this platform, this amazing learning platform. I'm also, I'm, I'm still Mrs. Olainka, and today we'll be talking about accidents in basic science and technology under PHE, BST PHE. We want to talk about accidents. Now, accidents. You can see this picture here. This is the little accidents over here. Now I want to look at what accident is actually all about, how it can be caused, the prevention, and the likes. So please, I want to settle down and get yourself, pay your pay rapt attention to the class as I explain to you what is accident. What is accident? Somebody want to try? Okay. Mm, okay, let's go. Accident is any mishap that can cause harm, damage, or even death. Accidents can occur every now and then. Example of accidents are knife cuts, stepping on needle, stepping on broken bottle, snap, stepping on nails, or if it's a snake or scorpion bites, or sleeping on wet floor, sleeping on banana leaves. There's, an, there's also motorcycle accidents or car accidents among others. There are various forms of accidents around us. We have to be very, very careful, especially now that we are at home. We have to be very careful of domestic accidents using the knife or any other thing in the house. So accident is any mishap that can happen. Look at this boy. He has hurt himself. Look at him. So painful. He has hurt himself. Accident can be caused via playing with a lighted candle or electrical appliances. My dear, don't play with a lighted candle at this period or any electrical appliances whatsoever. Any sockets, be careful. Is it a naked wire? Is it plugged as much as possible? Be very careful while you unplug or you plug any electrical appliances whatsoever. Then, accident can be caused while dropping banana leaves or spilling water on the floor. My dear, when mommy asks you to go and get water from the kitchen and you spill it on the floor. If that is place is tiled, you might slip on it and you will fall. Or maybe you just carelessly drop the banana leaf on the floor. Unknowingly to someone that is coming in, you can slip on the banana leaf and the person will fall. Then play with dangerous or sharp objects like blade. Knife, needle. Some people shouldn't even play with beads. Throw it in their mouths and then play with the beads in their mouth. Before you know what's happening, they will swallow the bead. Wow. Swallow a bead. Some people swallow the pin. Children play with pin. Office pin. Put it in their mouth and they're playing with it. And before you know it, they will swallow it. It's very, very dangerous. You don't play with sharp objects. You don't play with knife. If mommy asks you to bring the knife from the kitchen or you want to cut your oranges, you want to cut something with the knife, be very careful. Let an adult around help you to cut it. And if you have to cut it yourself, you have to be very, very careful with the knife and the blade as well. Do not use the blade on your, on your fingernails. It may cut your fingernails, it will cut your hand as well. So you have to be careful with a lot of sharp objects, a lot of it. You can see. This is a picture of an accident, head-on collision. Two cars hit themselves and then resulted into an accident. This is an accident scene here. That's the picture. Wow, what do we have here? He has cut himself with the knife. That is why I told you the other time that you have to be very, very careful with the knife even at home now. You may want to cut something with the knife. Be very careful because the edge of the knife is very sharp. If you are not careful, you may end up Cutting yourself instead of cutting what you want to cut. Maybe you want to cut vegetable, you want to slice onions, whatever you want to do with the knife. And as much as, as possible, do not drag the knife from your friend or from your siblings. In the process of trying to drag the knife away from them, it can lead to accidents. So that's a picture of an accident there using the knife. So how do we prevent an accident? You can see the picture of the young boy there. Trying to play with the electrical appliance there. 
He's trying to play with the plug there. It's very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Prevention of accidents. Accidents can be prevented in the following ways. One, keeping to all safety rules at home, at school, and on the road, at home, and in the school. Thank God we are home now, so we should concentrate more on safety rules at home. Some houses, there are safety rules in the house that mommy and daddy have said, don't do this, don't do that, do not do this, do not do that. As much as possible, ensure you stick to the rules at home. You know, we are not in school now. You know, we have our rules in the school. We have our rules. Do not play on the swing. Do not run on the walkway. Take turns and all what other, other rules in the school. But now we are in the house. We have a lot of rules that daddy and mommy has, has laid down in the house. So as much as possible, please endeavor to make sure that you keep to the rules at home so that you will not be involved in any domestic accidents whatsoever. Then, on the road, it leads us to the next point. We says concentrate while walking on the road. Do not use while running an errand for mommy and daddy. Do not ensure you concentrate on the way on the road. Make sure you concentrate while running an errand for mommy and daddy. While running an errand, please concentrate. Use the pedestrian bridge while you are going on any errand. If you need to cross the highway, please use the pedestrian bridge. Use the overhead, over, uh, overhead bridge. Do not cross, cross the, the highway while cars are, are applying the road. Be very careful of the road and concentrate. Don't play your phone. Do not play with your phone while you are crossing the road. Do not play game on the road, on the road because you, may lo you, may, you might lose concentration. Then the next point says use the overhead bridge while crossing highways. I've said that. Use the overhead bridge when you are crossing highways. Because it's very dangerous to run and cross the road while cars are applying the highways. So be very, very careful while crossing highways. Then switch off all electrical appliances when they are not in use. When you're not using your sockets in the house, the, 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 everything that has to do with light, electricity, as much as possible, switch them off. If you need to go out of the house, you're going somewhere, everyone is going out, and please switch it off. You want to go and sleep at night and nobody is watching any any program again on the television, please switch off, switch off the television, switch off all electrical appliances, the washing machine, the everything that has to do with lights. Please switch them off. Then do not run on the on the on the on the staircase or tiled floors. Maybe in, the, in, in your house is a, is a story building. Please, as much as possible, do not run on the stairs. Do not run on tired floors because you may sleep and when you sleep you fall and it leads to accidents so as much as possible do not run on stairs or tired floor or if for adventure you have you, your bedroom is also tired as much as possible please do not run in there because you may sleep and they may lead to accidents now we have come to the aspect of the evaluation I'm sure you have very, you have, you, you have been, you have paid a lot of attention from the beginning of the class. You, you can listen, you can hear me clearly from the beginning of the class. So at this point of evaluation, you don't be having any problem at all. So let's go. You can tell me what is an accident. What is an accident? Anybody want to try? If you are really listening to me, you will not have a problem here. What is an accident? Okay. Okay. All right. Accident is any mishap that can cause harm, damage, or even death. Very good. It can cause damage, harm, or death. Yes, that's an accident. So, number two question says, give three examples of accidents. Okay. I'm listening. What are the three examples of accidents? Mm -hmm. I told you about snake or scorpion bites. I told you about running on wet floor and flipping. I told you about sharp objects, dangerous objects, cuts, knife cuts. Okay, those are examples of accidents. Now, what are the things that causes accidents? Can you tell me? What are those things that cause accidents? Okay, where well, we don't pay attention to rules and regulation at school. 
in the home or on the road. Can you, can you remember? The traffic light is on the road. It says stop. It says ready. It says go. Okay, that's another rule on the road. Okay, so if you don't pay attention to these rules on the road at home in the school, it can cause accidents. Okay, what can cause accidents again? If you play with sharp objects, it can cause accidents. Okay, that's another one. Okay, let's have one more. Playing with lighted candles. Wow. You know, you do know that lighted candle can actually lead to fire outbreak. Yes, it can lead to fire out outbreak. Playing with lighted candle. If you lit your candle and you start playing with it, so you keep it very in a, in a, in a carelessly, very close to something that can explode. Before you know what's happening, there's an accident. It can lead to fire accident. So, playing with lighted candle can lead to accidents. So, mention ways that we can prevent accidents. Okay, I think I'm very sure that from all that you have mentioned, all the causes of accidents, you should be able to prevent it now. Okay, let's go. How do we prevent accidents? Okay, we should concentrate while crossing the road. Good. When you're crossing the road, concentrate. Number two. Okay, I'm listening. You should follow the rules and regulations every way, everywhere, in the school at home. Okay, how can we prevent it as well? Again, we are very careful with sharp objects and things that can that are dangerous like beads, pin. Okay, very good. Now, in conclusion, accidents can happen anywhere. We must be very careful. We must be very careful with accidents because they can occur anywhere. But if we are careful, pay attention to our rules and regulations at home and school, anywhere we find ourselves, and then we are very careful in anywhere we are, then these accidents will not, not happen to us. Now, you have an assignment here, and I want every one of you to do this assignment and send it back to me because I want to see how much you have learned from this class. The first question says, describe an accident scene you witnessed. It might not be during, during this lockdown period because you have all been at home. Okay, maybe you have witnessed, witnessed any accident scene or you can just imagine an accident scene and just write it down for me, just briefly. Just one page, not so lengthy. Just explain what really happened, what caused the accident. It might be motorcycle accident, it might be car accident, it might be domestic accident in the house. So whatever from other you have witnessed, you can just describe that as then saying what led to the accident and so on and so forth. Now the second question says, state two ways the accident could have been prevented. What do you think one person or two people or all the people involved could have done that the accident could have been prevented? What do you think they could have done? So I want you to tell me two ways that accident you witnessed could have been prevented. So I'll be, I'll be expecting your replies to your assignments right from this moment. So start working, get your pencil and your barrel, get your book, write down your assignment and send it back to me. Thank you very much and thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.